Before we indulge, we must fully understand what anti-Semitism is. According to the Webster Dictionary, anti-Semitism is the hostility or prejudice against Jews. I think anti-Semitism is when people who are either ignorant of Jewish culture and Jewish people and the religion itself, or people who have such a high um, idea of their own religion that they feel the need to bring down others, especially Jews. Anti-Semitism is prejudice towards Jewish people. It's the belief that Jews are not um, as high as another re religion or people that just don't believe in what Jews believe and they're against them and they try to stop them. Anti-Semitism is the discrimination towards all Jewish people because of their belief not in Jesus and um, the belief that they all should deserve to go to hell. When I was in second grade, I had a best friend named Grace. Um, she lived next door to me. And one day I went to go sit next to her on the bus and she told me that I couldn't sit next to her because I didn't believe in Jesus. And I didn't know what Jesus was. I didn't know anything because I was just this little Jewish girl who had a friend and I didn't know anything about that. So I went home, I was crying. I told my mom, why can't Grace sit next to me on the bus? And she's like, what are you talking about? I said, she said her mom can't sit next to me. Her mom said that she can't sit next to me because I don't believe in Jesus. And then she had to explain what Jesus was and explain why the Christians think that we we're going to hell. And then uh, a couple days later, her mom left an Easter lily on our front door with a two-page letter on why the Jews um, are going to ruin Israel or something about how um, Israel will never be fully at peace until the Jews are all dead. And I, of course, I didn't know that, but I just saw my mom breaking down. And then she posted on Facebook about this issue, not naming any names. And then her mom continued, the, the friend that I had, her mom continued to go around the neighborhood telling everyone why they shouldn't be friends with us, why we were going to hell, and then all of my friends on the bus didn't sit next to me anymore. It's one of my friends at school, I go to Sage Creek High, by the way, um, she told me that one of her like first few days there, someone like had pennies and threw them at her and called her a kike and told her to go pick up the pennies because, you know, Jews love money or whatever. For me personally, there have been once, like, one of my friends said, he jokingly said, oh, you know, be careful or I'll throw you in the oven. I don't think there's a way that you can stop the way that people believe, but I think there is a way that you can punish people. Um, I mean, of course you know that it's wrong. People know it's wrong. And I really don't believe that there's anything we can do. I mean, we've spoken our minds, but we're just not heard. And it's really hard to have to grow up, especially as a Jewish female, in this world where people still think that Judaism is a bad thing. Um, but I feel like one day we will get to the point where everyone loves each other, or tries to love each other. But right now, there's, I don't think there's anything we can do to stop people's beliefs, just people's actions can be stopped. Um, like um, guns, the gun thing, definitely. But you can't change people's beliefs, ever. I think that standing up to people is one of the most important things. Well, not even like standing up to them, it's just telling them that what they're doing isn't okay. Like educating them on Jewish culture and the religion and our ideals is so important. And I think if you tell them about that, then they'll understand why it means so much to us and like why we hold it so close to our hearts. I think we need to teach our children as the new generation to love each other no matter cultural differences and accept each other's beliefs because everyone is opinion, everyone has their own like belief, like let them believe what they want and have like an open um open room um like in school to communicate how they're feeling like so they don't feel judged by a fellow classmates who were raised one way and then this kid was raised another way. And especially like with teachers, they should set like the example of like how to integrate cultures and like be respectful. And I think that's like all we can really do to stop the hate because it's mostly a white Christian male who is racist and against and is xenophobic and who is against all others and believes that Christianity is a human race. I'm not saying that all people believe that, but there are some that sadly do. And that's why they commit these hate crimes. We can continue to punish people for committing crimes against Jewish people. 
but changing people's beliefs is drastically harder than that. We definitely can't use the law to punish people for harmful words as long as it's not like an incitation to violence um, or something along those lines. And we can't just yell at them because that clearly doesn't work. Really the only option we have left is to show these people through example that their beliefs are wrong and give them a reason to change them. So what was happening is I was at home and I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw the post on a meme page so I thought it was a meme which said something about our society in and of itself. Anyway, so I thought it was a meme and I was like, no way. And so I kind of went online and I like like searched, you know, Pittsburgh shooting and then that came up and I, I like, I, a lot of my friends like were like, oh, I like broke down crying when I read about it, but that's like I didn't do that. Um, I just like I didn't. I thought it was a, some sort of sick joke. When I went back to school, I digest things by like talking to people about it. And so when I went back to school, I like brought it up to my friends, and they were like, "Are you okay?" And I was. I said no because I wasn't okay. Well, I mean, it was awful. Like any time that someone, well, that group of people like that is killed is awful it's like it it reminded me of like the the boston bombing and how all of those people died and it's it's one of the worst things that a person could do and i i don't understand how i kind of just went silent for a minute because then i read that holocaust survivors were killed um and i was just more heartbroken than i've ever been about something like this knowing that I mean, when some shootings happen, you think, oh, thank God it wasn't me. But in this situation, I said, holy crap, next time this could be me. This could be people that I love. And I don't think I feel comfortable going to Temple anymore because there's so many guards outside. And that's not something that should be happening. We should be able to go worship in peace and do whatever we want without having guards with and police officers with guns trying to stop people from coming in and shooting us. Well, I posted about it. I educated people about it. Because anyone who knows me knows how fondly I think of my religion and how much it means to me. And um, I've used it as an opportunity to make a political difference in the world because you can't just sit idly by and let these kinds of things happen because like, as high schoolers, we shouldn't have to be afraid to, like, go to class and sit in our seat and be where we are for six to eight hours of the day. We shouldn't be afraid to do that. And then, you know, to be afraid to go to temple is something that's, like, completely backwards. I've noticed that a lot of people see this as, like, taboo or something that they can't comment on because they're not Jewish, but I think that's completely opposite. Like, if you're a Jewish ally, like, spread the word. Say that you're a Jewish ally because it's so, so important that it's not just Jewish people who are posting about it. Personally, I haven't really made any efforts, but I plan on, I mean, of course, doing this documentary and spreading the word if anything ever happens again. I posted about it. None of my friends texted me, actually, after that, like, are you okay? They just thought it was, like, they were so used to, like, they were just, like, they didn't even know about it, but, um, they were just, like, continuing their normality of the day, and I was kind of just, like, shocked still. It was just a hard weekend, the rest of the weekend for me, because of, like, it hit close to home, because I'm a Jew, I'm a Jewish girl, and there's a lot of hate at my school, a lot of hate in the world, which I'm sick of. And it's just, I don't want to raise my kids in America. That's like our daily norm, you know. So.